Hey, hi, hello! In this video, I'm going to clean and restyle another group of my huge second-hand thrift doll purchase. If you haven't already seen my haul of them, you can find the link in the description down below. So, I'm beginning with two Twyla dolls. The first one of them is the basic Twyla. I actually got her from a flea market, so she is the only one in this video that is not from the huge eBay haul. And the other one is the haunted version of Twyla. The doll you are seeing here is called Raven Queen. She is an ever after high doll and her hair is so matted that it seems she has bold spots on her head and she wears the wrong clothes. I got her twice in this bundle. I didn't buy them intentionally twice, but at least I get the outfit of one of them complete this way, so I don't mind. The next one I'm going to clean in this video is Madeleine Hetta. She is an Ever After High doll too and I got her twice as well. One of them is slightly different though. One has white dots on her hands and the other one doesn't. I'm not sure why this is, but I think one of them is an older model or something. That one with the white dotted hands has also worse hair than the other one. But I hope that this difference will not stay permanently. I'm also going to clean Dois in this video. He's kind of easy to clean because his plastic hair snakes can't really get tangled even if he tries his best. And because he comes without any clothing, except for his glasses and his sports bag, I can give him a little restyling. As for Kitty Cheshire, she's the last doll in this video. I'm going to try to recreate her like it was originally intended. Off camera, I got off all the clothes to be able to clean every doll properly. The first doll I'm going to clean is one of the Raven Queens. She's the one with the easier hair situation. I just use some regular hand soap to get rid of all the nastiness and later on I'm going to use normal hair conditioner that I use for myself to get easier through the hair. I'm going to do this procedure to all the dolls I showed you in the beginning. So yeah, I'm going to uh, let you watch me just washing them and listen to some soothing music.
So here they are all washed, dried, brushed out and lined up together. And now with their clothes on again. <laughs> For Kitty Cheshire I want to recreate her hairstyle again as closely to the original as possible. For Kitty Cheshire I want to recreate her hairstyle again as closely to the original as possible. So I'm putting her hair back into these side braids and to spice it a little bit up I want to give her some curls in the ends. Now that I have boil washed her curls and after she dried again, it is time to get the curlers out, just brush through the ends and put all the accessories back on. This is her finished appearance now. She's just missing one of her shoes. She might have lost it when she was chilling inside the tree as she was watching Alice chasing the white rabbit. I also gave Alice a boil wash to renew her curls. She had problems with glue sippage out of her head, so I needed to put some cornstarch into her hair to make it appear floofy again. So here we have the result. What do you think? I am surprised that she looks so much better than before. <laughs> and I'm really glad that just washing and a little bit of restyling makes such a difference. Um, here you have the close up of one of the Raven Queens that is nearly complete with her outfit and with her hair brushed out. I don't like her original hairstyle so I'm just going to let her be like this. I personally think that it looks prettier this way. I don't own all the accessories and clothes from all of the dolls for now. So to deal with this, Dois is going to get the clothes from the LOL doll Roller Chicks to show everybody his true personality. I think they suit him extremely well, especially in combination with his original glasses and his sports bag. I kind of really like the attitude he surprisingly gets through this outfit. The haunted Twyla has her original shoes and her chains and got a dress from another doll I don't know yet. 
The handbag is from an Operetta doll, uh, I think, <laughs> at least. The basic Twyla has a combination out of her original clothes, a belt from a Frankie doll, an apron from Boo Little and shoes that are way too big for her from a doll that I don't know either. But yeah, here she is. So, and that's it for this video. I hope you liked what you've seen and till the next one. Bye!